G'day trendsetters. If you haven't yet by now already planted any of your brassicas, as in cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, anything along those lines, then now's a great time to do it. And it's simple and it's dead easy. Just got a little seedling tray here filled with a good quality seed, seed and cutting raising mix. And I'll just bung the seeds in there. You can direct sow into the soil if you've got a nicely well, well, well prepared and limed soil. You'll need lime for your brassicas to help against a disease called club root, which yeah, deforms and affects the, the vigor of the plant, I suppose. So yes, you, and you can direct sow into the garden. All you need to do, much the same with the seeds that you plant in a punnet, is to make sure that you keep the top of the soil moist. You don't really want to overwater the soil, you just don't want it to dry out. So just enough over the top. If you're at home, you could probably just go out two or three times a day and just give them a light sprinkle over the top, all good. I'm trialling two new seeds this year. I did do a search. I wanted uh, mini cabbage, seeds of mini cabbage. And I looked everywhere and I couldn't find any. But during the course of looking, I found this company called Happy Valley Seeds, which I don't know if I'd heard of before or not. But anyhow, they had this variety called Copenhagen Market. Copenhagen Market, which uh, it sounded interesting to me. So I'm going to be planting that from Happy Valley Seeds and also from Lamley I've got Broccoli. It's called Arcadia. It's an F1 so it's a uh, it's a, a hybrid which is fine. You usually get better vigor out of uh, a good hybrid. Uh, what does it say? Vigorous Broccoli with large firm domed heads for cool weather cropping. It produces lots of side shoots too. So January, February and March for autumn and winter harvest. So that's what we're doing today. Just another thing about Happy Valley Seeds. I will leave all the links below. They've got Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and a website. The website's quite good, easy to navigate. It's not hard to find anything. They have a, a, a wide range. I will be getting more seeds from them in the future. But it says here, and it, I like when you get little notes in your, with your deliveries. We hope you are satisfied with the products and customer service. Happy Valley Seeds would genu genuinely appreciate if you could spread the positive vibes and words about us to your friends, family and on social media. So there you go, Happy Valley Seeds, I'm doing my bit. Once again, we appreciate your business and look forward to serve you for your garden needs in the future. Righto. Now, Happy Valley Seeds. So, label. Always label, you'll always forget. Doesn't matter how good you think you are, you'll forget. If you don't forget, then you are as good as you think you are. So this is the cabbage. I just need a little five mil divot, which is about half of my first knuckle deep. I always think seeds like company, so I'll put two seeds in each hole. Um, the only reason I think seeds need company is when I plant a single seed they never come up when I plant two seeds side by side they come up so that's the the whole scientific basis for my seeds like company idea and just drop them in that's it that done just cover them over firm them down give them a, a good watering at this stage I'll just get these seeds back into this packet. Oh, it's nice when they're round, they just roll off, roll off your hand. Yeah, so initially the first day I will really, really, really water. Uh, I always think of like when seeds do germinate in the wild or a native, it's usually after a good rainstorm or a rain period. So the first day or two really pour that, rain, uh, that water in to stimulate the idea of rain. They've got plenty of um, moisture in the soil and this, these seeds think, yippee, this is a great time to go. After that, which again mimics nature, the rain's gone, the sun's come out. You just want to keep the soil moist. You don't want to keep it too wet uh, or you risk rotting the seed in the soil. And again with the broccoli, did I mention, I don't think I did, uh, I'm, I won't grow cauliflower here because they're 
they're too big. They're a massive plant, and I unfortunately don't have the room um, unless the neighbour wants to sell me his block of land one day. I'll just have to go down to the local markets and buy my cauliflower there. There you go. So, oh, that was the third one for good luck. Just put him in the side there. So we're, we are two weeks away from the end of summer or the beginning of autumn, whichever way you look at it. I will succession sow, so every two weeks I'll do this probably up until the end of April and that should give me cabbage right through winter and into early spring. The only real problem I will have to deal with is the cabbage, the butterfly cabbage, cabbage butterfly moth, butterfly cabbage moth. Either way, it lays the grub and the grub just chews the bejesus out of the, the cabbage. So there's, there's netting and there's constant monitoring and uh, rubbing off any eggs that have been laid on the underneath of the leaves. It's just, a, it's, a, it's easy enough in a small garden like mine. You just go out in the morning and go, oh, no, everything's good. Or if you see a little bit of a hole, you go out and there's a grub, you pull it off and squash it. Or you can net it and prevent the whole thing right from the start. If you've got a nice big row, there's hundreds of videos that show you how to, to go about that. I don't have the room, like I said, I will just fit mine in around the place wherever there is a gap. But now is a good time to get started. If you're in a cooler climate, you could have easily started a month ago. I'm in warm temperate, it's good here now. Subtropics, I wouldn't start for another four weeks. So that's the first, second week of autumn. And you've probably only got a very small window up there because you don't get much of a winter. Once I've planted my seedlings in the punnet, I like to bring them over. I've got this nice shady crepe myrtle tree here, but it's also quite bright. So I'm lucky enough in my climate to be able to have my seedlings outside underneath this tree. Once they start to germinate and pop their little heads up out of the soil, I will slowly and gradually harden them off into more and more light per day until I think they're ready to go out in the garden. Once you've planted your seedlings, find, try and find as bright a place as possible. A little bit of morning sun won't hurt, but keep them out of that really hot sun. Mainly for me, because I go to work and I don't want the top of the soil to dry out while I'm at work and therefore the, the seeds fail to germinate. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. It costs nothing, it's free, and you'll get notified when I make my next video. Cheers. Bye for now. Also from Happy Valley Seeds, I got some radish daikon, myasinge, my m m i my singe. Anyhow, it's a daikon radish. So all year in warm areas, spring, autumn, and cooler areas. Anyhow, I've never grown these before, so I'm asking you if you've got any tips on growing daikon radish. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Cheers. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love you.